Hello everyone, today I have with me the Zotic SP Compressor and the Barber Tone Press version 2. So we're going to compare both of them head to head. I have my Ibanez AZ242 BC going to both of the pedals and into the front end of an orange gym root terror. Now you can say that the tweakability of both the pedals are rather similar. They are similar in terms of having both a volume and blend knob. Following that, the amount of compression or sustain on the tone press is an actual knob, whereas the SPCOM is a toggle switch. Now inside the SPCOM, there are four dip switches. The first two will adjust the attack and release times. The third one will add presence to the tone and the fourth one is a pad switch in case you have an extra hot output on your guitar. On the tone press, you have something similar, but they are down to two knobs. So you have one knob to adjust the attack and release time and another one to add presence to the overall tone. So let's get right into it. I'm going to compare them with low amounts of compression followed by medium and high amounts of compression. Also, I'll flick the dip switches to kind of match the settings of both the pedals. So for the entire duration of this demo, the blend knob will be in the middle and the volume will be set to unity with the amp. Now I've dialed both the pedals to have a medium amount of compression. Next I'm going to flick the dip switches that are associated with adding more presence to the tone. Now with the same amounts of compression and presence dialed in, next we're going to flick the toggle switches to adjust the attack and release times of each pedal. So that would mean that on the SPCOM both dip switches 1 and 2 are activated and the left toggle switch on the tone press is flicked to the left. This will give you a faster attack and release time. Next, I have the compression dialed up high for the heck of it. We're going to hear how much noise uh, the pedal generates. In actual fact, it's not that the pedal is generating the amount of noise, but it depends highly on your setup. 
the venue you're at, the stage, studio, wherever, and where you're plugged into. So this is the amount of noise that the pedal tends to elevate in my current studio. So here is the SP Comp. So there you go, that is the comparison between the SP Comp and the Barber Tone Press. One final setting, I'm going to use both the humbuckers on my guitar and hear how the compressor sounds with that setting. So there you go, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content and see you real soon. And oh, of course, you can check out the prices of these pedals on www.musicblist.com.my.